And welcome back to The Verdict. I'm Paula Todd. The school where Jordan Manners was shot is in a tough part of town. The Jane Finch community has seen more than its share of gun violence over the years and a seemingly endless stream of victims. Joining us now to talk about the community, Paul Nguyen and Mark Sims. They founded a website dedicated to promote Jane Finch in a more positive light. Before we talk about that, Mark, I know you, you knew Jordan, you know his mom. How is Lorraine Small doing today? Right now, Lorraine is doing, she's doing better than I originally thought, actually. Um, I mean, what can you say? She just lost her son. This was her, her golden child. You know, this was more than just any child. This was a golden child. This was someone that brought her through a lot of pain and someone who is going to do a lot more in the future that we never got a chance to see. You knew Jordan? Yeah. Actually, uh, when I was working at York University as a personal trainer, he used to sneak inside the gym during the summertime, him and a bunch of his friends. And uh, they used to come and work out, and I would let them work out because I knew that they had nothing else to do. So they're just coming to, 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 to keep themselves off of the street. Mm. You know, that's the type of kid that this was. Paul, you went to the same high school where Jordan was murdered, as did Mark. What was your reaction when you heard about the shooting? Yeah, initially shock, um, not just because of the shooting, because of the, at the particular high school it happened at. Jeffries is, uh, has a really good reputation, known as the art school. It's uh, really prestigious in the area. and. A lot of people have to, you know, really, you have to apply to get into the school. And it's not a, you know, you can elaborate on that. The, the, that's the thing a lot of people are, are missing on, actually. To get into CW Jeffries, you actually have to apply to get into that school if you're, if you're living in the Jane and Finch area. So that says something. A lot of people are saying that this is happening in the Jane and Finch area. But if you live in the Jane and Finch area, you can't even go to CW Jeffries. I had to apply to the arts program. I was fortunate enough to get into the arts program because I had the best teacher of my life, and that was Mr. Clark at C.W. Jeffries. He was my art teacher. He taught me a lot about life, and that's what C.W. Jeffries is. You know, it's not like what a lot of people are making out to seem that it's about violence and this is happening in the Jane Finch area. This is not in the Jane Finch area. This is in the York University area, actually. Sentinel and Finch, not, not Driftwood, Jane, or, or Tobmory and Finch. And yet, there is still someone out there who killed Jordan. Is no one talking about this, Paul? Well, I mean, a lot of stuff's going on on the street right now, yeah. but there's also that culture of the, the, the divide between the, the community residents and the police department. And historically, you know, the two haven't gotten along, so there's a communication breakdown there. And so so let's explore that, though. Are, are you talking about the sort of no-snitch policy? Uh, that could be one one factor, and I, I hear there's a lot of things going on in the street that that you don't hear elsewhere. And that give, well, give me an no example. One, no yeah. one needs to snitch, actually, and that's why no one is saying anything because right now this young kid, remember, he's only 15 or 14, who has killed another 15 or 14 year old, right? This young kid has to go to bed at night. That's hell enough as it is. How do you know the uh, this the suspect is 14 or 15 years old? Oh, uh, because it was actually uh, it was. They're all friends at one point. So the the group of friends, which uh, did it include Jordan? Is this one of Jordan's friends who's killed him? <sighs> yes. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of the times in our neighborhood, it's, it's the majority of the time, it's someone that you know that ends up turning their their back on you in the end. But I mean, society in general, I think that's how it is, right? I mean, these are this is the school of hard knocks. Is it true that <laughs> that this happened uh, in some ways almost accidentally? That there was a fight over firecrackers. Someone took offense, and this was retaliation. Yes, this is just this is a matter of someone not knowing how to handle their conflict. Is what this is a matter of. But I think you know the unfortunate thing is people are focusing on what, how, and you know how did it happen, but they're not focusing on the mother now has to bury her son or she can't afford to even do that and she hasn't even seen her son. But I think the fact is actually the mother doesn't have enough money to bury her son. And the community obviously needs to help with that. The community and also the media because if the media can come in the bus loads, truck loads, army loads to CW Jeffries, they definitely can make a difference Mark and help, help Lorraine out with the funeral. Mark, you have just given me a description of uh, w the, the suspect in this murder. You've told me uh, his age, um, his relationship to the murder victim. Do you know his name? 
I don't know his name. It doesn't even matter who his name is. The fact is, is don't that... Don't you think he should be brought to justice for what he's done? That, that doesn't matter. The fact is, is that, is that Jordan doesn't... The family doesn't have enough money to bury their son. That's what counts. That's what matters. But once... Not the fact that we're here and we can't find the killer. Who's going to bury the son? Right? Well, I think... That's an important thing, Don't I we think, have personally. two... But don't we have, Paul, two huge issues? The son must be buried with dignity, and the community, including the media, can rally to do that. <laughs> but there's someone on the street What who's... goes around comes around. This is a young kid. Yeah. What goes around comes around. And so we he's in, in the he's community, in... we know that. We've seen this happen before. This is not the first time that someone in the community has died. We've had, we've had a, 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 I believe it was an eight-year-old that died in the community already about four years ago. The Raptors came so and built, built a, for a basketball man? court for this kid. So this people... is going to constantly happen. It always happens. The, the killer will come up, believe me, even if it's a matter of him turning himself in because his nightmares are eating him up at night. We are not animals. We are people. And that's what I think a lot of people need to realize. We're not, we're not animals that go around killing each other for no specific reason just because we're like apes or something. And I think a lot of people think that the, the lower class community is like that in, in the Jane and Finch neighborhood when it's not actually. Jane and Finch represents what Canada is all about. We are the most diverse village in Canada. I don't think people at home will be surprised to know that Paul Noonan and Mark Sims are working very hard through your website and other places to improve the reputation mm -hmm. of the Jane Finch neighborhood. I, what thank I would you like to see. Uh, sorry, Do I, I have I time? Like to see, Can you say more? You've got <laughs> enough time. What I would like to see actually is uh, since the media can come out in the bus loads yes. to uh, catch all the violence that's happening in our, in our community, what a lot of people don't realize is actually that C.W. Jeffries was one of the, was one of the highest schools for yes. graduates. And people don't know about that, and no one doesn't really care about that. Well, they do now, <laughs> and we've got the message out. I want to thank guys, both of you. You guys, as a me community. Me, guys? I, yes, yes. <laughs> Just you, me? <laughs> as, as a community, I want to see you out there. I would love to see you out there in front of CB Jeffries. Okay. You would get to meet the people. Okay. You would love the people that you see. I do already. You see I do all already. Of us, all of us, we're all fun, loving community people because we work hard, and we work for that one okay. single dollar. Well, thank you so much for being here, both of you. Paul's just staring at us. He just can't believe what happened. <laughs> just a reminder that you can log on to jane-finch.com for more on these gentlemen's efforts. And when we come back, our legal roundtable takes a look at school safety. Could more security have prevented this tragedy? And then my closing argument next when the verdict returns. Yeah.